Someone said that their midwife told them one time, don't tell anybody how you sleep with your baby. We are doing a Montessori bed. <sighs> I'm just gonna show it to you, here we go. Hey guys, my name is Shayla, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I talked about pregnancy when I was pregnant, now I'm talking about motherhood because that's what I'm doing. I started this channel traveling full time, now I'm momming full time. If you are into this and you like it, please subscribe, please like the video, please comment. Also, head over to my Instagram, December and January, I'm doing weekly giveaways with different companies. So head over to Instagram so that you can get on those. On Instagram, I often post like, oh, she's awake, she's at the door, and people are like, what? She climbs out of her crib? No, she's just got a mattress on the floor, and they're like, what? Yeah, I guess that is kind of weird for most people. So I'm gonna link the videos that I watched about doing a Montessori bed. It's Happa Family. She's like the Montessori guru on YouTube. I, she has like all the things Montessori. There's like a little eye in one of the corners and then it'll show you all the videos that I recommend. You can click on them if you're interested in doing this. We started the Montessori bed with a twin mattress on the floor. It was like a hand-me-down from someone. I was like, perfect. And based on Hapa, she says to have a flat, hard mattress. Well, a lot of times when she would fuss, I would go in there and just lay with her and side nurse her back to sleep, which is probably the greatest part about this mattress. I don't have to pick her up out of a crib, rock her to sleep, and then try and put her down. I just go lay with her, give her my boob, she falls back asleep. The hardest part is like unlatching and then getting out of the room. So sometimes I lay there for a while, but it's really, really nice because I don't, it's just like, I just lay there and it's, it doesn't, feel really exhausting. She's downstairs with Seth right now, so you might hear her talking the whole time. She's just like me. My body hurts when I lie on this bed, so I bought a mattress topper. It was like an all organic latex mattress topper. We ended up now just using the mattress topper as her bed, which works great because she rolls out and she's fine. Papa says that if you use the regular mattress, they still will roll out and then they'll just kind of learn where the edge is. If you do do the Montessori bed, you wanna make sure that the whole room is baby proof. So all the plugs are plugged. There's no like shelf that can fall on them, dresser that can fall on them. Um, a lot of Montessori rooms have the IKEA uh, cube shelf. So like four or eight across and then they just sit on the floor and they're not, they are not tip heavy, but they can still access all their toys, which is the whole point of this Montessori room is it's like their space. I would also recommend getting a camera that can move around the room. Cause I have a friend who just has one that zooms in and zooms out. Mine, I can like follow her from her bed as she crawls to the door. And then that's another thing, as they get older, people are like, isn't she just gonna be able to open her door and like leave her room? Hypothetically, yes, but you can put a gate at the door. So when she opens the door, there's now a gate and then she just yells for you and you go get her. I wanted to make this video, if you're considering doing a Montessori bed, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still trying to figure it all out and I'm still like learning the good parts and the bad parts. And like, like all things, there are good and bad parts. I like it because I can nerd. I like it because I can nurse her to sleep and she goes back to sleep and it's a little bit easier for me. And Seth has enjoyed it too, so I think it's a really good alternative to a crib if you're looking for something different. It helps her figure out her spatial awareness a little bit better so she understands her space, gets a mental map of her room and where things are, and I think that's pretty cool. Someone said that their midwife told them one time, don't tell anybody how you sleep with your baby. Like, if you bed share, don't tell anyone. If you co-sleep, don't tell anyone. If you put them in their room from day one, don't tell anyone. Everyone's got judgments about sleep. So it's kind of a little bit vulnerable for me to show you this space, but I like it and I like what we're doing. And so I'm sharing it with you in case you need some encouragement or a little bit of understanding about like what the Montessori bed is. I'm gonna show you our room. If you do Montessori bed, please comment below with like tips that you've learned along the way because obviously I'm only a couple months into this so I'm still trying to figure it all out. If you have questions about the Montessori bed, put them below and then other Montessori people answer those questions. Help me answer them because I don't know all the answers. I hope that you enjoy the tour of the room. It's gonna be pretty like poorly lit and just off the cuff. So I hope you like it. Good morning. I'm about to film a very poorly lit video because I'm gonna do it in her room where there's no lighting. I came in my room for a little bit of lighting. We are doing a Montessori bed and I'm just gonna show it to you, here we go. So oh, here is her room. It's got a nice yellow hue because there's no natural light because these are blackout shades. Like, oh yeah. Then there's like a fleece blanket. Then there's this, you know how when it's cold and you like have to wrap up the window? We did that. And then there's another blanket up top. 
So basically what I'm saying is these are not blackout shades. All right, so let's do this. When we first walk into a, your room, you think, wow, that's not Instagrammable at all. No, you're right. It's purely for function. I started this nursery like, oh, I'm gonna make it so cute and fancy. I'm gonna have this like macrame, and then I wanted to have, I learned that they like faces. None of those are faces. Here are some faces. So I wanted her to see these above her crib. So let's start with the obvious. There is no crib in here. We have a mattress on the floor. So this mattress is actually a mattress topper and it's 100% organic latex. This is not a sheet, but I added this to it and it zips on and off. I wonder where the zipper is. I can show you what it looks like on the inside. If I unzipper this, this is what's underneath. And then I bought this thing to go over the top. I think it's wool or something. Some other non-toxic whatever. Ideally, I would have a mattress protector, but it's so thin that I can't. I started with a twin, which is why there's a twin right here. I'm going to link two videos that I did. Up in the corner, there should be like an eye. If you click on that eye, you'll see all the videos that I link mine and then these two ones that I'm recommending. She is like the Montessori YouTube guru. So I look to her for a lot of stuff as far as Montessori goes. She says that you should have a really hard fur mattress, not for adults. This mattress is kind of cushy and Aaliyah has had really good head control and like neck strength since she's been born. So I felt confident in her. I like watched her a few times to see when she would like go face down if she would move and she always did. And she could, which I think is the point. I think when they're so little, they can't move their face. So this is really nice. You're not supposed to have a pillow. Babies are not supposed to have pillows. This pillow is not for her. This is for me because a lot of times what happens is she will fuss and I'll come in here and I will feed her and then I lay with her, which is so convenient. I like that this is so thin because she sometimes rolls off of this and then she'll end up sleeping on the floor. When she was little, she would bang her head on the wall. She would like roll over and bang her head on the wall. So I had these camping pads from when I lived in my van, or no, this is from the element when we would go camping. Anyway, and I, I just put them on the wall so she can't bang her head on the wall anymore. And, and here they cover the curtains because once you have baby on the floor, you need to make sure that your whole room is baby proof because obviously they can access everything. So I didn't want her pulling on the curtains and pulling, pulling them down on her. So I covered it up so she can't reach them. Can't really reach that yet. This blanket's just when I'm in here and I'm cold. I've got a bag of toys, or a, can you hear her downstairs? I've got a bit of toys here. So I try and put them like in front of the door so that when she wakes up and she starts to crawl towards the door, she'll find these first. Those are her for pajamas from last night. And then this I just used to cover the light in the door. This obviously stays closed. I've got her love every play gym and then just a bunch of books. I used to have like a shelf here and obviously that's a hazard because you can pull it down. Still trying to figure out exactly what to do with that plug. Honestly, I might just pull the bed over a little bit just to cover it up. That's one thing that I'm gonna have to look up. Uh, what to do, because you need a monitor obviously. I'm just circling around the room here. So this twin used to be here I want to keep it if I have someone over so they don't just have to sleep on this mattress pad. They actually have a bed. Um, but we don't really have a ton of storage in this place and I don't want a mattress to sit out in the garage. So there it sits and it works perfectly because then I can put my camera on it. There's a sound machine here and I've just propped it up so that I can see. <laughs> I feel like this is... When I take off my aluminum foil hat, I also... No, that's for the light. It was like super bright in here. Um, and then this is when I was trying to be cute. Look at how cute that is. Someday it'll be cute again. Then we've got the glider. So I've checked the glider multiple times to see if like there's places that her little fingers can get stuck in. And I, it looks like yes, but I haven't really found any, but I keep this blanket here just in case, just so that she can't get her little fingers stuck. That's there because normally her vitamin D and essential oils sit here. I always put vitamin D on my boob before I put her on it and then, or once a day. And then I put lavender so she can smell it. But I've been putting it there lately because she's been getting up and finding it there. 
Oh, what else do I have in here? If you get a monitor, you wanna make sure that you get a monitor that can move. Because I literally will track her like from here all the way over here and then she just like bangs on the door. I don't know why I'm getting out of breath, but. Okay, so she just woke up and she's just looking around. So if she does wake up, I'm gonna go in there and try and get her back to sleep, but let's see what she does. This child has slept for like 20 minutes. Oh, there's no way she's going back to sleep. She's awake, so let's go get her. You kind of have to like slowly open the door and let her come around and she figures it out. Oh. Are you up from your nap? <gasps> Hi. Hi. Why does mom have a camera in your face, right? <laughs> You wanna come out? You got it. Do you have a good snooze? <gasps> you napped for like two hours. Yes, you did. Come on out. And then obviously, just making sure you baby proof the whole room. So the idea here is that she can wake up whenever she wants and has access to her room and can kind of keep herself entertained if she wants to. A lot of people ask to see this. Um, like I said, let me see if I can just set this up. Hope that you enjoyed the tour of the room. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Bye.